stage is set. You have Kelly on the inside, Meyer lane two, David lane three. These guys have a great position for the start of this APBA Gold Cup. And the final heat is about to start, and wouldn't you know it, Steve David pulls ahead at the start-finish line. A great start for the old boy Alberto. He has a great start, and right now it looks like he has overlaps. So if he wants to cut in front of these guys, he has to do it. He has seven boat links. That's what you need to have. A second place finish for Steve David in last year's final to none other than my broadcast partner, Nate Brown. So you know this is as good as it gets for Steve David at the start of a race. And he's squeezing him down right now. I'll tell you, I don't know if he has overlap anymore. Oh, oh. It looks like somebody goes over. Hard to tell who it was between all the rooster tails. Oh my goodness, it was, it was you too. It's J. Michael Kelly went over. He was in lane one on that thing, so he must have had no place to go. J. Michael Kelly, Jim Harvey's boat is upside down. Glad to see right out of that escape hatch, though. J. Michael Kelly looks like he's going to be okay, but that boat is done. Yeah, red flags in the course right now for sure. I'll tell you, these guys have to stop these machines because the rescue personnel has to get there. Uh, he's out. He was able to get himself out of the boat. That's a good, that's good news. A very scary situation. I'm hard pressed to think of a race that started this early with the boat going upside down. Well, as you see on the replay right now, you can see how high uh, the U2 got. Um, he, he went up on uh, on J.W. Myers' rooster tail. I don't know uh, where J.W. Myers was in there, but obviously uh, he had no room or he slid out. One of is, the two. is that just inexperience on J. Michael Kelly's part? Well, it's hard to see. We have to see that aerial shot when it comes to us. Oh, here, here it is. You can see it. You can see right now how, how the U6, uh, Steve David, squeezed in in that first corner, and it didn't leave enough room there for J.W. or J. Michael. Gosh, that boat just popped right out of the water between those rooster tails and an obviously concerned Jim Harvey the owner of the U2 boat looking on to see if his driver's okay J Michael Kelly with the rescue crew on the water this changes everything as the race for the APBA Gold Cup continues after this the waiting game begins for Jim Harvey and the U2 crew to find out if J Michael Kelly will be all right one thing we do know for sure the U2 boat will not be racing in the final we will resume the final in just a moment but we have found out late word that Steve David, after the terrific start that he had in the final heat, has now been disqualified because of an overlap violation. Let's find out more. Steve, uh, final of the Gold Cup, uh, really great start. I mean, you were you were ahead, and unfortunately, it looked like the other guys on the inside had some steam coming up the inside, and it's hard for you to tell. Well, tell me what happened on this. Yeah, had a good start, and had probably you know eight or nine boat legs going to the first turn, and uh, you know left what I thought was plenty of room for the guys to go through, and uh, apparently the call is that I didn't leave enough room, and they had moved up within about five boat lengths, and so the uh, Elam boat moved over to avoid my fin water, and that's uh, when the two caught it and went over backwards. So we certainly hope Joe Mankel is okay. He's a great uh, great racer. And it's just an unfortunate circumstance for the Alberto. I think we had this thing won, but obviously more unfortunate for uh, J. Michael. Well, thanks a lot. I know it's disappointing, but I, I hopefully everybody will be okay. Well, hopefully everybody's okay. That's the key is so we can go race and have some fun in a couple more weeks. We'll see the Alberto in a couple weeks in Tri-Cities. Absolutely. Thanks, Nate. Now it becomes a three-boat race for the final. I don't think anybody could have guessed this. Let's handicap the chances here. Well, I don't know. It looks to me like J.W. Myers is sitting in the catbird seat, but, you know, Terry Trox is going to try for that flying start in the outside. Let's see what happens coming down here for the start. He's like a slingshot on the wide outside row as we come down to the start-finish line, the ever-important start, and Terry Troxel nails it. Wired it. He wired it hard. I'll tell you what. He's coming down now. He's going to take these guys out in the first corner. He's got enough steam on him. He's got the seven boat links he needs. There goes the U16 and JW, and pretty soon you're going to see the U5 here probably go away if he goes to the pins. Terry Troxel driving the Spirit of Detroit boat, we might add, flying around that corner. The rooster tail is way up high, and he is in the catbird seat right now. Well, I'll tell you, starts are everything, and, and I don't know where JW was here on that start, but uh, I tell you, Terry Troxel had a great start. Uh, he did exactly what he wanted to do. The boat ride looks perfect, and uh, if he keeps it going like this, he's going to find him Nate name on that trophy. Interesting to know, just a little behind-the-scenes information, you and I were talking during this weekend like J.W. Myers and that Miss Elam could very well be the boat to beat. Surprising to see that it's this far behind Terry Troxel's boat in the final heat. Well, starts for everything, like I said before, and that was a great corner Terry just had. The boat was rattling up. He, he brought it down. Uh, just a beautiful corner by that old boat. You are up close and personal with the leader of the final heat for the coveted APBA Detroit Gold Cup, Terry Troxel one of the veterans trying to hold off the young gun, J.W. Myers.
He's coming on strong as far as, you know, look back there in that picture. You can see him coming. You know he's going as fast as he possibly can and keeping that boat right side up. But, you know, that boat's down on some power, too, or something right now because there's no way that that, that U-13 boat in Terry Troxel is going to be that far in front. And there's absolutely no way that J.W. Myers is going to stay back there in second place if he has anything left in that throttle. Nate, earlier in the race, we were talking about uh, Terry Troxel mentioning jokingly or only half-jokingly saying, I can 140 these guys to death. He doesn't look like he's going 140 right now. Oh, I'm sure he's somewhere around that, but I think, uh, you know, that U-16 is going a little faster. Yeah, yeah, he got it up in the air a little bit right there down the Yacht Club bumps, and uh, here comes that tight corner again. He's doing a, doing a great job with that boat, but you know, the U-16 is coming on strong. The handling on both boats looks terrific right now in the final heat, and we do want to take a quick moment to update everybody. J. Michael Kelly, who went upside down at the beginning of the race, will be all right. He was taken away by an ambulance, precautionary measures. We'll see him at our next event. Well, it doesn't look like that challenge by the U-16 really came to fruition. He's not, not up to snuff, that's for sure. There's not a real high rooster tail. He's down on some power on that. At this point, it is Terry Troxell's race to lose. What's going through his mind right now, Nate? Everything. Nut and bolt and wing and motor. He's got one prop, one motor, one gearbox. When is it going to break? He's just hanging on. His emotions are starting to come up. All drivers want to get their name on that gold cup, and it looks like he's going to do it. We're coming down here for the last lap. He's just hanging on, hanging on, hanging on. The next 30 seconds probably feel like they're taking 30 years for a driver like Terry Troxel. That's for sure. I know when I won it last year, it was a great feeling. Uh, you know, Terry's out here uh, getting that thing through the final corner. Is, is it going to make it? Is it am I going to run out of fuel? Uh, what's going to happen? The crowd's going crazy. A, a Detroit owner, a Detroit sponsor, Al Derby Dodge. Here he comes down for the checkered flag. And all the crowd raising up in unison to cheer on Terry Troxel as he crosses the start-finish line and claims his first ever APBA Gold Cup, driving the spirit of Detroit. J.W. Myers finishes a respectable second, considering he was upside down earlier in the race weekend, Nate. They had every system they had to replace, everything they ran with no cowling. You know, they didn't do great in the final here, but, you know, not anything to hang your hat on there. It was, it was a great second place for them. You know, the talk around town has been a lot of these young guns, a lot of the young drivers, and wouldn't you know it, one of the grizzled veterans takes home the Gold Cup in 2005. And honestly, it all came down to the start. Terry Troxel timed it perfectly and cruised to victory for his first Gold Cup win. We did what we always said we'd do. Did Congratulations. I love you. Awesome. Terry, what can I say? <laughs> You know, hey, show me that ring again now. Yeah. You I got, got it one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to hopefully Bartisha gets you one, you know, buddy? Hey, good job. And uh, congratulations from me. Thank you. You know, this much. is the boat that was my co-stable, I guess, last year, and it was awesome. But you had an awesome start. Let me tell you, the starts in boat racing is everything. The start there, overlap in the first corner, it couldn't have been any better. You tell me about it. Yeah. Well, we had to make an outside start because of our gear pack and all that, so we did. Uh, because of the restart, we got a reprieve. I made a lousy start the first heat. The second heat nailed it. They were a little late. That was it. It was just a matter of uh, running the rough rotter. Dave! Dave! Get over here. I want to thank Dave Bardish for He called me on Sunday. My uh, driver's suit didn't fit. <laughs> and we put something together, and yep, we put yep. a great team together. Dave, Dave, what do you think? I mean, last year, I know what Terry's going through. I filled in for Mike Weber, won the Gold Cup. This year, you call up Terry. Yeah. Yep. You win the Gold Cup. What does it feel <laughs> to be a, a Detroit-owned boat for the first time since who knows when? This is too easy. It's, you know, if you're from Detroit, you can do this. We were made to do this. I love it. I love it.